just wanted to show you why I chose these Ford C-Mac batteries. I liked having the ability to bolt things together and then I made all these bus bars myself. Actually part of these bus bars came with when I bought the packs from Green Tech Auto in uh, Olathe, Kansas. This, these batteries are about $440. Are they worth it? Uh, I would say no, they're not. But they probably have a longer cycle, a cycle life than uh, used laptop batteries, 18650s. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is do another test. The other first test I did was running about 1400 watts. And because when I run my charger on my car, it's going to take 8 amps, and that's about 960, 60, amp, uh, 60 watts. And I want to make a comparison between the two. But anyway, I wanted to show you what the inside of this looked like, separated by this foam. And I just put this on here. This is for balancing out your cells, which I'll show you after I get done with this, why I put this on here. I'm starting off the test where the uh, kilowatt meter is reset to zero as far as kilowatts used. We're at 120 volts. We're still using the Ames inverter. I'm going to try another inverter after this test and see which one's most efficient. We're starting off with 29.19 volts, which is about 4.17 uh, per cell. So it's not fully charged, but it's close. And I don't really like taking it up to 4.2. So we're going to plug in. I plugged in another heating element that's been going about one and a half, two minutes. It's at 849 watts. And our voltage just dropped down to 28.78. And this is closer to the wattage that I'll be using when I use this to charge my car because I think we're going to get more than 1.22 kilowatt hours at a little lower wattage. We'll see. We'll check on it in an hour and a half. We're 30 minutes in our test. We're at 117.8 volts, 7.15 amp, just a little bit less than I'd like but this is as close as I can come on one device the heater the uh, Ames inverter is uh, warm but the fans have not come on and we've used 0.39 kilowatt hours so far and our voltage is at 26.62 we're coming up to our 20 volts and there will be an alarm going off shortly. 108 volts. There are 1.21 kilowatt hours. One hour and 29 minutes. Okay, we got the same amount, 1.22 kilowatt hours. And we're going to try another inverter after we recharge this and see if that is more efficient. I thought I would try a duplicate test with the reliable inverter. It's 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. See if it's any more efficient than the uh, Ames. Wanted to show you one thing. We're at the same voltage, 29.16. One light is on. We're going to try our little... Remember it's from a neutral to the ground. I have a wire. And that indicates that I could charge my car with this inverter. But for our test, 
this has been reset to zero. Hundred eighteen point five. This is one hundred twenty here. We're going to plug in our uh, light and begin our test. This has a counter on it. Let's see how many watts we're taking. Seven hundred seventy-four right now. So it'll take about an hour and a half to uh, deplete these batteries again. Hopefully, I can get more than one point two two kilowatt hours out of this inverter, see if it's more efficient than the Ames. One thing I've noticed that the voltage is lower on the reliable than the Ames. It's 114 and I believe the Ames was 118. This says 116 but it's 114.5 to 8. 114.3. I don't know if that's going to have any difference on it. Um, seems to be drawing uh, the wattage is different on this than it is on the uh, reliable. The reliable is different than the Ames. We'll see. We're into this 46 minutes. One thing I've noticed about reliable it is maybe three times as loud. The fan is quite loud than the Ames but it doesn't stay on as long so it's a much more vibrant fan. Uh, we're at 25.82 volts. Now you can hear it. 115.6 volts. And at 0.62 kilowatt hours. Let's go back to the volts. 7 amps. 806, 805, 100, 806 watts still going down. We're at uh, 1 hour and 11 minutes. We're down to 24.54 volts. Hundred and fifteen point one or 100, well, it goes from 2 to 6. We've used 0.96 kilowatt hours. One hour and 12 minutes. 7.03 to 1 amps. We're at 1 hour and 26 minutes. We're down to 22.66 volts. And. We're at 1.16 kilowatt hours so far, 22.54 volts. Here's something that I noticed about the uh, reliable. The wattage has dropped down significantly by about 120 watts. And the voltage has also dropped down. It's 105. 104.8 and it's going into the cycle. I don't know when this is going to shut off. I've never tested this. So we're going to follow it until it does. It's in the Well, there you go. It, went, it didn't even go down to 20 volts. 
and it was like 1.2 kilowatt hours. So this inverter is noisier, it is less efficient, the wattage drops down, the voltage drops down before the Ames inverter. I'm kind of disappointed because I thought this might be a better inverter, but it is not. It seems like the Ames is a better inverter, much quieter in operation and more efficient by 2.2 kilowatt, kilowatt hours. That's significant. And the Ames goes down deeper in the um, the charge will go down to 19 volts versus 20 volts here. A better buy. This was actually a little bit more expensive than the Ames.